Hello, my name's Mark Durrant. I'm 47 years old. I received a, a spinal cord injury three years ago. I had a gas pipe fall on me down a hole, which crushed my T11, T12. Things I can't, can't do anymore is like, you can't just get up and go and get a drink. You've got to transfer out your chair into your wheelchair, go and get a drink. It's a lot more frustrating. You just can't get up and do what you used to do when you wanted to do it. Now, my daily life since my injury is a lot more frustrating. Um, you've got to plan more. If you need to go for a drive or a journey, you've got to plan, do you need to have a wee before you go? Silly things like that. No, since my, since my accident, I've not been back to work. I can't, can't do the job that I used to do, digging holes and things like that. Yeah, I tried um, the FES when I was in the Royal Bucks and she upped the parameters um, and it still didn't stimulate my muscles or anything. And as far as I know, there's nothing in the UK that stimulates you as much or as harsh as the rise machine. Whereas people that have spasms and that are at a higher level, the FES works on them. I'm classed as a flaccid injury I had to go to um, the Royal Bucks Hospital for a um, medical examination with uh, Brian Gardner and he recommended me trying the rise machine out to stop pressure sores, muscle wastage and all that. So that's how I got hold of Paul and he came down and demonstrated it for me. When I see the rise the first time I thought it was just like a big TENS machine, um, just bigger pads and all that. And, but it is a lot more powerful than a normal TENS machine. Yeah, when the first time I tried it, it actually s contracted and released my muscles, which was a really weird sight. I couldn't feel it, but I could see it, and that was a real um, eye-opener that the machine could stimulate my muscles. No, with the rise I was sceptical, I didn't think, after the FES didn't work, I didn't think that the rise would work either, until I had the demonstration which proved me wrong. Being able to see my muscles working after nothing for the first six to eight months since my accident. After a while I've noticed my muscles have bulked up and have got more stronger, I suppose, but although I can't feel them, they've not wasted away. They've actually got a bit stronger and my, my legs have not wasted away as much. Yeah, since using the rise, I've, I'm more relaxed on my skin conditions, knowing that I use this and that the benefits from using it, so that my legs don't look so horrible when I've got shorts on and things like that. They've gone back to near normal rather than just the wastage and just skin and bone. Yes, yeah, since my traumatic accident, it has it has helped me psychological, knowing that my muscles are not wasting away, and that there is equipment out there that can benefit it people like me with spinal cord injuries. You're using the rise machine, it's, it is easy to use. I get help from my wife doing the ones where it goes on my bum and the backs of my thighs, she puts the straps around, but the other ones, yeah, you can use it yourself with no problems at all. I use the rise every day or five days a week. I think it's roughly, depending on the programs, it's normally between an hour hour and a quarter uh, a day. Um, the advantages of using the rise, it's um, it bulks your muscles back up so they're not wasted, helps with your circulation and general tone and everything of, of your legs because you can't use them anymore. In my eyes, just don't, don't give up, just keep focused. Um, and if you do get emotional, let it out. Don't bottle it up because it will just make you worse. And just try and lead a normal life. It is hard, but you do get there. It does get better after time.